Brian Weiss here with GolfWisconsin.com and the Wisconsin Golf Trail. And behind us is a beautiful hole number five at Mascouten. And I am joined with editor at Midwest Golfing Magazine, Glenn Turk. Glenn, uh, welcome to the show. Brian, thanks so much for having me. And what a beautiful day for this at one of my favorite, most underrated golf courses in the entire state, Mascouten. Yes. So we've been traveling around uh, the Green Lake area and the vibe on the street is the revitalization of the area from the lodging to the golf courses. Let's uh, start with one of our first stops, Glenn. We stopped at the lodging of uh, Acorn Ridge Motel as well as the Heidel House. Uh, some amazing renovations happening there. They sure are, Brian. And what's great is, you know, no matter what type of golf group you have, Green Lake has an opportunity to stay and play. So whether you're bringing a 12 guys for a Ryder Cup or a bachelor event or maybe a romantic couples trip because you've got so many great, you know, the deepest inland lake, you know, Green Lake, so there's so many boating and things to do. So really, if you look at, you know, Heidel House is probably the signature, uh, you know, place on Green Lake, just beautiful, epic views. But then if you want something laid back and we kind of said a little retro, you know, go back to like feeling like you're staying in a room from the 1970s and 80s, which is really cool. You can do that at Acorn Ridge. Sure. And we were also at Lasonia that have lodges, uh, three houses uh, right there on property that also went through a, renov a renovation from flooring to plumbing, uh, just some fresh updates as well. Yeah, I think anybody you talk to, they say Lasoni is the hallmark property of the Green Lake area, and they've done an amazing job getting those stay and play packages booked with the Lankford, the Moreau, the Birch houses. It's just incredible. Sure. And we're going to also talk a little bit about the renovations of the golf courses. Um, all of them pretty much have had a facelift uh, over the last few years. Uh, our first stop on uh, our little escapade here to Green Lake uh, was uh, over to uh, Tuscumbia. Tuscumbia just uh, recently went through some new owners. Yes, uh, Tuscumbia, most people say it's the oldest golf course in the state. There might be a little bit of debate on that, but we for sure know it's 1896 and it is incredible. Super small greens. I always say if you have a, uh, a birdie putt on a green, there's a chance you can make it. It's probably going to be 10 to 15 feet. Those greens are so small, but there's a phenomenal course back and forth. Really great high character. Sure. We saw a couple locals play the golf course and kind of echoed uh, Eric's, uh, the uh, general manager and superintendent, echoed his sentiments that in 2023, the course was almost unplayable, that the conditions have fallen that uh, fast. And we walked a couple holes and uh, it was a lush green, uh, lush green. Yeah, I played the course about two years ago and did not know that it was in disrepair and when I went on property today I'm like wow this is just so premium I'm so glad that Eric and Rusty Grimm co-owners of Rustic Golf Properties they've got four different courses in the area so not only do they have Tuscumbia they've got White Lake they've got uh, Portage or Saddlebrook which is in the Portage area and then also Two Oaks which isn't too far from here as well. Sure we talked a little bit about the uh, signature of the Hallmark property being Lasonia Links they have two courses on property uh, Lasonia Links and the Woodlands that both went through some renovations recently they have is uh, part of my job as editor of Midwest Golfing Magazine just put a feature together for our spring issue had a chance to talk to Dan Moore who's kind of turned into the Lankford Moreau historian and kind of went back to some uh, aerial photographs from the 30s and 40s right after the golf course was put together and they've really restored the bunkers to that ilk and that generation and obviously I know one of your favorite holes is number seven where we did find out today from Adam Swenson at Green Lake that they really do have a boxcar bear underneath the green to build it up. That's pretty cool. And right behind us, once again, uh, we are at Mascout, and, and we just found out that they've gone through some renovations as well and a little facelift. Yes, and this is such a cool property because it's 27 holes, and the first two nines, the red and the white, more old school, kind of back and forth, sparkling golf. But where we are right now, the blue nine, designed by Rick Jacobson in the early 2000s, and this is everything that you would want in a golf course and more. Uh, again, it's you know, luscious green complexes, great fairway conditions, really stunning golf shot values on every single hole. Yeah, and they shared that they uh, took out uh, numerous uh, ash trees uh, throughout the golf course, kind of opened up the golf course. So if you haven't played it in a while, you're going to see some uh, new views and vistas and maybe uh, some less intimidating shots on a tree line golf course. Uh, the last thing that they mentioned is they bought some new greens mowers, so things are rolling uh, perfectly and true. Yes, and this course has always been known for their great green complexes and conditioning. So thrilled to hear that they're upgrading something that I always thought was a strength. Sure. 
Well, if you have not gotten to Green Lake uh, recently, you need to get back because of the revitalization. Um, all the locals are raving about uh, the restaurants uh, and the uh, quality of golf and as well as the lodging. Glenn, do you have a favorite place to eat here? Gosh, Langford Pub is amazing. That's inside of Lasonia, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I know that they have lines out the door, usually for their famous Friday fish fry as well. And then don't forget, Brian, uh, golfgreenlake.com, I believe is a really good resource to just tell people exactly where to stay and where to play in Green yeah. Lake. Yeah, he, he, should, he should be hosting the show here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, again, I love Green Lake. I've been in Wisconsin my whole life, and this is one of my favorite destinations. And again, I'm just not saying that because I'm here. I'm about uh, an hour and a half away from here, and I try to get up here with my wife and I at least two, three times a year. It's that good. Sure. So as far as if you're looking to uh, look for a place uh, to book, stay, and play, check out Golf Wisconsin under the destination section. Golf Green Lake is also um, a phen phenomenal resource uh, and is part of the Golf Pack, which does golf packaging for the courses and the uh, lodging that we uh, uh, mentioned, uh, as well as we'll put a link to the uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau also has a wonderful website for other things to do um, on the lake and in Green Lake. So we will see you on the first tee here at Maskootin. Thanks for having me, Brian.